Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Dylan here. Well, we have a massive update with Donald J. Trump today that you don't wanna miss. So please, thumbs up the video if you support this man, this patriot, Donald John Trump. I know I do. Comment below, let me know if you support the Trump family and the MAGA movement. Here we are getting started. Early in the morning, it's 8 a.m., I'm drinking my morning coffee, and I was reading the news, and I had to just start filming because this is pretty hilarious and also awesome at the same exact time. Democrats are flipping out. They're furious over Trump, uh, and you know they're trying to bring him down, but Trump's actually leading in the polls massively uh, for the Republican presidential primaries. He's actually the top contender, and we'll show you a poll in a minute here. But uh, before we jump in, we're going to be reading from the Bible. And I wanted to let you guys know that my website, thepatrioticjournal.com, I, I, I just posted an article about Trump and his showing the, the numbers with the polls, and also a few articles about the truth about Trump's arrest. So go sign up for my website if you'd like. And I did extend the coupon just in, I, it was gonna expire at the end of the month last month, but I said I'm gonna extend it for another month because there's so much news and I want all you guys to get access. And so if you sign up right now, you can get a free month of membership or if you choose the year option, guys, if you go to the site, you'll get a free year and you cancel at any time. So go sign up, link below. Just wanna have a bunch of readers there. Let's pray. It is Sunday. Happy Lord's Day. Hope you guys are be doing well. I hope you guys... Actually, it's Palm Sunday, right? Um, I have a bunch of palms in my house. We need to do a little celebration. <laughs> okay, um, here we go. This comes from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. Let's pray. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Wow, how powerful is that? Comment amen if you agree that God's plans for us are for good and not for disaster. Let's lock that prayer in by commenting amen down below. I love that Bible verse. And yes, I do personally believe reading the Bible is a form of prayer. I got some heat in one of my last videos. People are like, Dylan, you said we were going to pray. Then you just read the Bible. Where's the prayer? You pray reading the Bible? That's how you pray? God, God's judging you. I'm like, it's the worst thing to judge other people on how they pray. You know, what are you going to go to church and look, judge everybody on how, oh, they're not holding their hands properly. Everybody prays differently. I like to read the Bible. Okay. Um, so let's jump in. So there was a new article that was released called by on Yahoo News. I wanted to share this with you guys and you guys are going to get a kick out of this. So this comes on Yahoo News and The Hill. It was literally just published 34 minutes ago. And it's and Joe Manchin came out and said, Trump indictment marks a very sad day for America. Democrats really want Trump's indictment over this hush money payment that was made um, in 2016 over an alleged affair that happened in like 2006 or something. This is really old news. And they're, you know, Alvin Bragg, this district attorney was just, he was just made the district attorney. And by the way, the New York prosecutors, they weren't going to pursue, pursue this case at all. Um... I don't know if you guys looked into this, looked into this, but the New York prosecutors literally said, or the Manhattan prosecutors, whatever, I might be off by a little, a few terminologies here because I'm not an expert in this, but to my knowledge, they basically said, we're not going to pursue this hush money payment from Trump. It's not important. It's not a priority. And then all of a sudden, this guy named Alvin Bragg was hired in the district attorney and as soon as Trump announced that he was running for president, then they were like, oh, let's let's indict Trump over this. It was so weird. And now and Democrats like 
I, I honestly believe that they want this to this indictment to be a reason for Trump not to become president again. And and honestly, not they don't a lot of Democrats don't want Trump to be able to run for president again. And they do want him in jail. Trust me, I read I go on Twitter. Yeah, I know. Um so Senator Joe Manchin said on Sunday that the indictment of former President Trump marked a quote, very sad day for America, adding he praised that prosecutors did a thorough job in their investigation of the former president. It's just a very sad, sad day for America. Very sad day, Manchin said on Fox News, especially when people are maybe believing that the rule of law or justice is not working the way it's supposed to be and it's biased. We can't have that. Um, so, so Joe Manchin, he's actually quite, in this statement, he's actually quite defending um, Trump. He's saying no one's above the law, but no one should be targeted by the law. So let's wait and see what comes out next week, next week. And so Joe Manchin, he's actually a Democrat who's defending Trump, but he's far and few in between. There was an article that said <laughs> that, that is talking about how Trump's indictment they they wanted Trump to be uh, essentially locked up and put in handcuffs and arrested. And Trump said, Trump started joking, saying, yeah, put me in handcuffs. Let's do the whole thing. Let's walk. Let's do the perp walk. Let's do everything. And then the Democrats came out and said, oh, no, we're going to do it in private. It's a security thing. So as soon as Trump, because Trump is so confident, my friends, that he was like, he's like, put me in handcuffs. Let's do it. Let's put on a show. This is going to energize my supporters even more. So this new report just came out today that Trump's campaign says they publicly came out and said this, guys, that they raised more than four million dollars in 24 hours following his indictment. So the news came out that Trump got indicted and the 24 hours after that, the Trump campaign raised four million bucks. Like this is actually helping Trump. And it's it's honestly hilarious. I mean, it's awesome, but like I just I know it's infuriating liberals who like want this to be the moment where, oh, we got him, we got Trump. Trump's going down. And it's like, Trump's like, bro, we just raised four million dollars for my campaign. Like, we're doing great. And I wanted to show you guys too. Again, go check, go, go, uh, go to my website, thepatriotgrill.com, and check out the article I just posted um, an hour ago, going over the Trump Trump's um, polls. But let me read, let me read some of these numbers for you guys. So, Trump surged to a thirty-point lead over Ron DeSantis among Republicans. So, this is actually unifying Republicans. And I was watching a video from Dr. Steve Turley, and he w he actually said the same thing. I was surprised. I was like, oh, he actually kind of, because he's really smart, basically, and I'm not. Like, <laughs> I'm just, he's a doctor. He's like a, basically a professor, like a former professor, a scholar. But he, he was saying similar language that I was saying, and I was like, oh, that was just my instinct. Like, I, that was just something I thought up off the top of my head, because I feel like, Trump's indictment is actually uniting a lot of people. It's uniting especially mostly Republicans and people who support Trump or not even support Trump, but just like don't just think this whole thing is like crazy. So listen to this. An indictment isn't good for most politicians poll numbers, but Donald Trump isn't most politicians. The former president, Donald John Trump, has surged to a 30 percentage point lead over Florida Governor Ron DeSantis among Republican primary voters nationwide, according to a Fox News survey that was released. So by the way, that survey was released the night before tr they announced Trump got indicted. So just keep that in mind. Um, so right when Trump was at his essentially the worst, where everyone was saying, oh, it's over for Trump, blah, blah, blah. And the night before he got indicted, People, I mean, people knew that, Trump, you know, this was going to happen. Trump even announced it. I'm going to be arrested. And, you know, everybody's talking bad about him, talking bad about him. And then 
they were like, Fox was like, let's run a poll. 54 out of the poll, Trump has the backing of 54% of those surveyed compared to only 24 for Ron DeSantis. Double the margin the 45th president enjoyed last month when he led DeSantis by 43% to 28. So from a month ago to now, Trump's support has doubled, my friends. I mean, not doubled, but the margin is doubled. So he went from 43% of people surveyed but, uh, wanting Trump to 54. 43 to 54. That's a massive jump, my friends. That's an 11%. 11 people out of 100 more, um, or 1 in 10, 1 in 10 more. No other Republican cracked the double digits in the poll besides Ron DeSantis. Former uh, Vice President Mike Pence came in third place with 6%, um, and which is kind of shocking to, to think that 6 out of 100 people, that's, in my opinion, a very concerning, concerningly high number of people put... Mike Pence on there. And then uh, Liz Cheney actually tied with, with Nikki Haley at 3%. And again, three, three out of 100 people, to my, to my surprise, put Liz Cheney on there. Like Liz Cheney. Sorry, guys. I, I woke up at like 4 a.m. today and I couldn't go back to bed. So sorry if I look a little sl uh, sleepy. I don't know. I already, I, I woke up at 4 and I was like, it was like pitch black on. I was like, I can't. I'm like wide awake, so I was like, might as well make my coffee. Might as well go on a morning walk. Oh, I'll show you guys. Usually I don't do this, but since we're already talking about it, and I still have more to talk about, okay? Don't don't end the video. But look at this. I woke up this morning and went on a little morning walk. Look how pretty it was outside. I feel like I just want to show you guys my whole life. I feel like we're like best friends. So sorry if this feels weird to some of you new watchers, but like to people who have been watching me for years or even just a couple months. I feel like we're super, super um, tight. Like we're super friendly. And I will sh I will sh share you guys this. I've been putting mulch in my house. Um, so this was the before. <laughs> this is the gardening stuff I've been doing. I've been trying to garden my friends and trying to clean up. So this is my front porch walkway that I absolutely love by the way. This is how you, you know, from my front door facing out. And then I added in mulch. And look how nice it looks. Literally, I didn't even realize this because this is my first house. But I went to Lowe's and mulch is $2 a bag. And so that whole thing cost me like $6 to do. I was like, dang, I need to do more of this stuff. And I don't know if you can tell, guys, but right here in the front, there's also a little rose. <laughs> I have a little rose bush, too. Anyways, I'm rambling. Okay, let's get back to the video. I'm sorry, but... I just wanted to, I don't know. I just like, I feel like we're like family and friends. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. I love reading guys, all your guys' comments. Um, so, so yeah, so Trump is <laughs> gaining in the polls, four million bucks. Oh yeah, and also by the way, I wanted to let you guys know, former governor um, of Arkansas, Asa Hutchinson, just announced that he's, challenging Trump and I, I don't think this is a bad thing at all um, to and I actually think Trump said that he wants people to run against him if I think I, I think he said something like that like he was like I welcome people to run because um, even though most of them most Republicans want Trump I do think it is good to have multiple people in the primaries strong figures at least kind of to like rally like everyone together if that makes sense because if you only have trump then only trump supporters are really gonna you know be paying attention but if you you know if people like nikki haley governor asa hutchinson people who are their followers they're gonna be more um involved and more uh likely to turn out and vote and then you know whoever ends up being the primary which i'm assuming the primary preference, which I'm assuming is going to be Trump based on all these polls. Um, I think those people will most likely like turn out to vote because they're going to be more in tune, if that makes sense. So anyways, uh, yeah, but just that quick update. Hutchinson, uh, former governor Asa Hutchinson did announce he's running for the 2024 presidential uh, nomination. 
Um, launching a challenge to former President Donald Trump, who remains the front runner despite his looming criminal indictment. I know, they, it's CNN likes to say his looming criminal indictment. It's like, yeah. Uh, I, I'm convinced that people want leaders that appeal to the best of America and not simply appeal to our worst instincts, Hutchinson said. Interesting way of... I'm convinced people want leaders that appeal to the best of, of America and not simply appeal to our worst instincts. Is he talking about Trump? Is he a Trump hater? Is he a never Trumper? I don't know who he was referring to there. Uh, Hutchinson said the office is more important than any individual person. So for the sake of the office of the presidency, I do think that's too much of a sideshow and distraction. Hutchinson, in his announcement, doubled down on his call for Trump to drop out of the race. Now that the former president is facing criminal charges, he needs to concentrate on his due process. Holy crap, guys. This guy? I'm sorry, but I don't like this guy anymore. Governor Asa Hutchinson? I'm sorry. You guys know me. I like to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. You heard me. I was like, oh, this is probably a good thing. And now he's coming out and telling Trump to get out of running for president? Dude, who... I'm sorry, but are you a rhino? Are you, you literally a liberal, you're a liberal Republican. Why, like, do you really, really think that his indictment should stop him from running? What the heck? That just rubbed me the old wrong way. Um, comparing himself with those critics. Oh, here we go. Ask why he hasn't joined the chorus of Republicans going after Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg for indicting Trump. Hutchinson said that while he didn't agree with Bragg's decision, we don't want to erode confidence in our entire criminal justice system simply because we don't like the beginning parts of the case. Dude, you're such a hypocrite. You don't agree with Bragg's decision, but at the same time you want Trump to drop out of the race? Why would anybody trust you? Comparing himself with those critics, Hutchinson declared, I'm different. The former governor previewed his pitch to voters, arguing that the swirl of uncertainty around Trump, along with the substance of allegations against him in multiple jurisdictions, should give Americans pause. God, dude, this guy literally annoys me. This is one of the most unpredictable political environment that I've seen in my lifetime. So my message of experience, of con consistent conservatism, of hope for our future and solving problems that face Americans, I think that resonates. So, if you want to vote, if you... If you hate Trump and you're a Republican, you might want to vote for Governor Asa Hutchinson because that's basically, I mean, he took, this is the first day he announced he's running and he already starts telling Trump to drop out. Weird way to launch your campaign, but you do you, bro. Um, so going back to the $4 million, former President Donald Trump raised more than $4 million in the 24 hours of his indictment in Manhattan. Uh, after news of his indictment in Manhattan became public, according to figures released by his campaign Friday, the Trump campaign said that more than 25% of the donations came from first-time donors. Wow, further solidifying President Trump's status as the clear frontrunner in the Republican primary. By the way, if you want to help support my show, my YouTube channel, there's two ways you can do that. One, you can become a channel member. You can click the, the link, it says it should say join or become channel member. But the second way to do it, guys, is sign up for my website, thepatrioticjournal.com. This is my website. I want to grow this website to be bigger than the New York Times, bigger than CNN. So when you go on Google and you type in Trump, my website pops up and it says, this is why Trump is amazing for America. I want to help spread the truth. And if you want to support that movement, go sign up and take advantage of that free coupon code so you can get a free month of membership or even a free year if you choose to do so and that coupon code will be expiring i just extended it because of trump's indictment and everything and it's just i i don't yeah so trump's campaign sent out more than half a dozen fundraising solicit solicitations over email in less than 24 hours good 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 he called for donations on his truth social platform as well good that's how you fundraise that's how you do it Campaign official also told NBC News it received 16,000 volunteer signups in the, over the past day as well. Holy moly. Yeah, guys, this is really bringing people together. This is really, really bringing people together. So this is pretty awesome. Um, 
And even, Trump even said, if you are doing poorly, as so many of you are, do not send anything. If you are doing well, which was made possible through the great policies of the Trump administration, send your contribution to DonaldJTrump.com, he wrote. Yeah, guys, if you want to donate to him, go ahead. DonaldJTrump.com. Um, we've seen a massive fundraising spike on the digital front as a result of this. The base is on fire about this. Wow, very, very, oh, a Quinnipiac University survey released Wednesday found that 93% of Republicans and 72% of independent voters thought the Manhattan investigation was mainly motivated by politics rather than the law. Wow, that's shocking. 93% of Republicans and 72% of independent voters thought the Manhattan investigation was mainly motivated, motivated by politics rather than the law. Um, why did you, why in the world did you guys not interview Democrat? Because I honestly feel like there would be a high number of Democrats who would agree to that as well. That would be very interesting. I'm, for whatever reason, they didn't. Um, oh no, did they ask Democrats? Oh no, they did ask Democrats. They just didn't include that. Whoa, guys, 29% of Democrats thought that the Manhattan investigation was mainly motivated by politics rather than law. 29% of Democrats, my friends. That's almost a third. That is crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. This, there, this is deeper than I ever thought, so... Anyways, let me know your thoughts on all of this. Um, please thumbs it up, comment below if you support Trump, if you're a Trumper. Um, and also join my site, thepatriotichannel.com. I really, I know I've been pushing a lot lately, but this is what I wanna do, guys. This is my passion, this, this is what I wanna do. I love writing articles. I wrote an article this morning at 6 a.m. because I love it, I love doing it, and I love bringing good news. So, and I really wanna grow this, this website to be big to be huge to, so when you go on google and type in like politics my site pops up and it's something good so go sign up use the coupon code to get a to unlock that free year of membership or the free month whichever you decide and if you don't like it cancel it okay but i, I think you'll like it but uh so anyways guys thank you so much god bless happy sunday happy palm sunday let me know in the comments below if you made it to the end of the video and also I want to ask you um, to leave a message on what something that was on your heart today at church, at, if you went to church, um, or just anything that's been on your heart lately. I'd love to read your comments and pray for you. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, God bless. Bye now.